Um, here's the goal for today, you guys. We have, I guess, two goals. I want to make sure we're comfortable in Chapter 1. Um, and then I want you to have some time to work on your project. Um, Mr. Chapman introduced you yesterday, correct, to your game project, We. 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 Do you know who your partners are for that project and all the good stuff? We. I need one volunteer today, a brave soul in class. What for? I the surprise and surprise. I guess I'll do it. Like the birthday boy? How about the birthday boy Raoul? Le garçon, il a un anniversaire, il a 16 ans. Okay. We're going to practice for a moment. Raoul, if you will, levez-vous. Let's stand up, Raoul. All right, everybody look at Raoul. <laughs> okay, I would like for everyone to think in their head, en français, how you would describe Raoul with all of the adjectives we know. Remember, we know quite a few. Okay, besides just this physical um, description, maybe he's tall, maybe he's short, maybe he is strong. Okay, think about something that you could describe Raoul with. Okay, and how do we say en français he is? Il est. Il est. Okay, raise your hand, levez-vous, if you have a comment to make about Raoul. We could say quite a few things about Raoul today. Elisabeth, oui? Il est content. Oui, il est content. Très bien. What does that mean, you guys? Il est content. He's happy. He's happy. Okay. Oui, c'est son anniversaire, bien sûr. Levez la main. Raise your hand if you have another one. We're going to exhaust all of our options here because we can really describe him. Isabelle, oui. Um, il est intelligent. Oui, il est intelligent. Oh, c'est gentil, ça. Oui. How about Mademoiselle Adèle? Il est fou. Il est fou. <laughs> In a nice way. What does il est fou mean? Crazy. He's crazy cool. Here we have a debate. I'm going to let you compare this debate to a debate in the United States. Um, so I'm going to go back here. We're going to start with one of the debates in the United States, entre Obama and McCain. All right, so we'll give this a second to kind of go through. Um, oh, no, it's right here. Excuse me. Mom. All right, make this full screen, I believe. Okay, can you see this one? This is the presidential debate aux Etats-Unis. Oui. Oui, okay. Let's watch. I'm going to give you a couple seconds of each debate, Lexi, and let's see if we can compare what we find between two very different debates in two different countries. Um, you can imagine that everyone's waiting in their spot to find out who's going to win and if you've got all of your regalia and your, and your signs and you're so excited and they announce your candidate's name what they would do um, and that's what we'll get to see whenever the party for Nicolas Sarkozy found out he was going to win or he won and then he would become the president. De la République. It's pretty cool. Okay, uh, here we go. And, you know, Ségolène, I think, came in a close second. So, here we go. Nicolas Sarkozy est élu nouveau président de la République avec 53% des voix selon l'estimation de la sopresse Unilog. Vous voyez, pendant que nous vous annonçons ce résultat, des images de la liesse devant la rue d'Anguien. Nous irons aussi Salgavo où euh, évidemment tous les militants, les amis, les supporters de Nicolas Sarkozy se réjouissent, font la fête. Ils vont attendre euh, leur candidat désormais élu euh, qui va faire une déclaration dans une demi-heure environ. Euh, et ce sera Salgavo, vous voyez ici des images en direct de la rue de la Boétie qui est euh, quasiment noire de monde comme d'ailleurs l'était tout à l'heure le boulevard Saint-Germain nous allons voir tout de suite d'ailleurs des images du boulevard Saint-Germain de l'autre Très bien, d'ailleurs un boulevard Saint-Germain, une très street en Paris 
Okay, and they faire la fête. We just talked about that, Lexi, faire la fête. You remember what that means? We, uh, a party. Uh -huh. <laughs> party. I had a party. Like you went to la fête de Sarah, and you're going to have your fête soon, right? Oui, en novembre? Oui. Oui, très bien. So that's what they were doing. What does the president do? Il nomme le premier ministre. After he's been elected, what does this person do? He names the vice president. Mm -hmm. Names the vice president. And in their case, they call it a premier ministre or the first minister. Okay. And what else does he or she do? He nomme les autres membres du gouvernement. Mm -hmm. He names the members of the government. Mm -hmm. Exactly. He gets to do that once he or she is elected. Okay. Uh, now, we'll come back to me. Um, do you have any questions, Lexi, on the first two pages that we covered on the Présidentiel? It was a lot of information. Here we go. And now you can hit it, and you're set. So you guys, whenever you're ready, uh, go ahead and start with your poem. Déjeuner du matin par Jacques Privé. Elle a mis le café dans les tasses. Elle a mis le lait dans les tasses du café. Elle a mis le sucre dans le café à lait avec les petites cuillères et les tournées. Il a mis les sandwiches dans les sandwiches. Ça ne parlait, ça ne me regardait, il s'est levé. Il a mis son chapeau sur sa tête. Il a mis manteau de pluie parce qu'il pleuvait. Et il est parti sous le pluie. Sans une parole, sans me regarder. Moi, j'ai pris ma tête dans mes mains et j'ai pleuré. Wow, I'm over here. I'm about to cry. Moi, je pleure. That was good. I like that one was great. <laughs> That was your grade right there, you guys. That was awesome. Tell me this. Do you not feel like every time you practice, you get better and better and better? Yeah. We're just Regine, that good. Regine, Regine, you're like, I don't know if I can do the memorization. I studied, and I had bad memory just to let you know. And you were like, ah, oh, that one line that's really hard, the il a fait des ronds. The last two times, Regine, you didn't even think twice. It just came out of your mouth. Ah, oh, you guys are good. Um, so that practice really does pay off. Um, very nice. Très, très bien.